Now 25 seconds. We have complete clearance for launch. We are go. 20. 15 seconds. Guidance internal. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Ignition sequence start. Engines on. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All engines running. Launch commit. Liftoff. We have liftoff at 9.34 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The tower is clear. And we have a roll program. Yeah, I'm good, sir. And I'll fly then. Thank you, Toro. Roll complete. Fifteen Houston, we're showing good thrust. Okay, guys, uh, go ahead. Okay, Jim. Sounds beautiful, troops. Uh, Roger, guys, when you're comfortably through with the procedure here, uh, we'd like for you to turn the thrust light out for us, please, by pulling the EMS main A and B circuit breakers, two of them, on panel eight. Roger, they're both open, the light is out. Okay, Dave, and that the reason for that is just to uh, conserve that light bulb and a little power, and uh, that burn was exactly what we wanted to see. We'll proceed with a normal mission. 
Oh, that's nice to hear. I'm a smooth talker, aren't I? Well, I'm glad you guys down there can figure all this out. And guys, uh, further word here, uh, as you're probably already aware, uh, the short is in what we've been calling the downstream side of that uh, driver solenoid. And uh, it means uh, only that uh, it's a little bit annoying to have. We can still turn bank A on and off as we want. We might modify a few procedures a little bit, but uh, we haven't lost that bank. Okay, very good. Thank you, Joe. Let's go to Hadley. Fifteen, this is Houston. How do you read? Hello, Houston. The Endeavor is on station with cargo, and what a fantastic sight. Beautiful news. Romantic, isn't it? Oh, this is really profound. I'll tell you. It's fantastic. And uh, Houston, we're over uh, Mayor Christium at the present time. And uh, the sights are really striking. I guess some of the interesting things we've noted uh, is the variation in albedo from white to dark gray with many uh, variations of uh, gray in between and many times this albedo change appears without any uh, significant change in topography other than uh, perhaps a, a mountain ridge or a chain or a wrinkle ridge or something but there, there are many varieties variations in the albedo uh, all over the surface. I guess our general consensus is it's gray. We haven't uh, noticed any brown yet. Fifteen, this is Houston. Hello, Houston. Apollo 15. The Falcon is on its perch. Good to hear you coming around that corner. How do things look? Okay, burn status report. Burn was on time. Burn time was about 24.0, about uh, half a second shorter than predicted. Uh, there was no trim. Residuals were plus 0.6, plus 0.0, minus 0.1, delta BC minus 4.4. .4. Fuel, 2.9, 29.25, and the oxidizer was 29.55. Unbalance, uh, 100 increase. Thank you, Dave. We copy all that.
700, 4, 6. 600, 4, 8. 500, 4, 9. Minus 17. Minus 15. 400 and minus 14. Yep, P66. Okay. 300 feet. Minus 11. Minus 11, 250. Minus 11, 9% fuel. 200, minus 11. 150, minus 7. Minus 6, 120 feet, minus 6. Okay, I've got some rust. Minus 5, 100 feet at 5. 9% fuel, minus 5. 80 at 5. Minus 3. 60 at 3. 50 at 3. Cross pointers look good. 40 at 3. 33. 25. 2. 7% fuel. 20 at 1. 15 at 1. Minus 1. Minus one, six percent fuel. Ten feet minus one. Eight feet minus one. Contact. Man. Okay, you student the Falcon is on the plane at Hadley. Roger, Roger, Falcon. Okay, Joe, we've got all the photos. Should go, Jim. Okay, I got it. Hey, let me start uh, by uh, 12 o'clock, Joe, and I'll go around real quick. On the uh, far distant horizon, uh, apparently across the rail, I can see uh, just about our 1 o'clock now, a, uh, a very large mountain, which I'd have to call uh, Hill 305. Roger. And... Uh, all of, the, all of the features around here are very smooth. The tops of the mountains are rounded off. Uh, there are no sharp, jagged peaks. There are no large boulders apparent anywhere. The whole surface of uh, the area appears to be smooth, with the largest fragments I can see are in the uh, walls of Pluton. Uh, there are no boulders at all on uh, St. George, Hill 305, Bennett, or as far as I can tell, look at uh, back up at Hadley. Hadley's sort of in the shadow. Uh, it's a gently rolling terrain, completely around 360 degrees, hummocky, much like uh, you saw on 14. The uh, pitch line ac across the rill uh, from Hill 305 around to 1 o'clock seems to be a slightly lighter in albedo with some uh, white uh, marks from uh, craters, recent craters apparently. Uh, Bennett Hill also has uh, a lighter colored albedo. One face of it, uh, that facing the sun now, is almost completely white. Uh, as I come around to my 2 o'clock, uh, the horizon is really the northern complex. I can see, uh, as I mentioned before, chain, Icarus, and Pluton. Uh, very rounded, subdued craters. Uh, it looks like the southern rim of Pluton is on the same level as our uh, location here. The northern rim is somewhat higher, I'd say uh, distances are difficult, but maybe uh, 50 meters higher. I can see the bump on the other side of the north rim of Pluton. Uh, all of it very flat, smooth, and gently rolling. If I look on around uh, the north, uh, Mount Hadley itself is in the shadow, although I can see that the uh, ridge line on the top of Mount Hadley, it too is smooth. I see no jagged peaks of any sort. Uh, the hill, I would call number 22 on your map. Uh, far distance also looks smooth, rounded. No uh, prominent features. I'll uh, skip the distant field around by 6 o'clock because it's all in the shadow and looking into the sun, of course, it obliterates almost everything. As I look on down to... Uh, by uh, 7 o'clock, 
I guess I see Index Crater here in the airfield, but uh, back up on uh, Hadley to the east of the Hadley Delta. By again, I can see a uh, smooth surface. However, I can see liniments. Uh, picture for you. There's some very interesting take uh, silver pass and look at uh, 13 on your map. I can't tell whether it's 13 or 16 right now because of the sun. But there appear to be liniments or radiations running uh, dipping to the uh, northeast parallel uh, and they appear to be maybe 3% to 4% of the total elevation of the mountain uh, almost uh, uniform I can't tell whether it's structure or internal stratigraphy or what but uh, there are definite linear features there uh, dipping to the, to the northeast at about uh, well, I'd say 30 degrees. Trafficability looks pretty good. It's hummocky. I think we'll have to keep track of our position, but I think uh, we can manipulate the rover fairly well on a straight line, and I, I can see the base of the front as near as I can tell. As a matter of fact, I think I see where the front runs into uh, the level ground, where we get that five-degree inflection. I see no boulders over there whatsoever. Looks like we'll be able to get around pretty good. 